Hello students, welcome to the next session. In today's uh, session, we will be learning about some of the basic git commands. So in the last class, I have given you an introduction to git where I told you git is basically a distributed version control system which will be helping the developers to keep track about whatever changes they are doing in the project that they are developing. So today let us talk about the different basic commands that are needed to use git. So the first command you have is git version. So if you want to know if the git is installed in your system, then we will be using this particular command called as git version. It will give you whatever the latest version that you have installed. The second one you have is git config. So git config is a command which is used to give details, give your details to the git uh, tool. Okay, so why do I need to give my details? It is because whenever you are doing any changes in the project and you are saving that changes, to keep track of those changes, to know who has done that particular change, your git has to know your information. That is the reason you have to give your details like your username, your email ID and all to git. This is called as git config or it is also called as configuration. Right? So you can uh, give two details about yourself which is, about, which is the username and the second one you have is your email ID. So to do that you have to give git space config space hyphen hyphen global. Okay? space user dot name and in double quotes you can give your name the same thing for you email id also so you can say user dot email and in double quotes you can give your email id as shown in this example okay the next one you are using is git init so if you want to start a new project to keep track of the changes that you are doing in that particular project you have to create a local repository that is called as git repository Okay, where your final changes will be maintained in the form of versions. The third stage of your git, if you remember the workflow. So to keep changes, you have to create a git repository and to create a repository in git, you have to use a command called as git init. So when you use git init, it will tell you that an empty repository has been created. Okay, the next code, uh, command you have is git status. So if you want to know so say suppose you have created a project and you have done n number of changes. Okay, and you, do, you don't remember what are the changes that you have done. So if you want to know what are the changes you have done in your particular project, simply click a command called as git status. It will tell you what are the changes that you have made and which changes have not yet been saved into the repository. Right? So simply give git status. The next one you have is git add. So this is, if you remember in your uh, git workflow, I told you we have three areas, working, working directory, staging area and git repository. So from working directory, if you want to move your project into staging area, where you, you are deciding which changes have to be saved, then you have to use a command called as git add. Okay, so if you can simply write git add space dot that means all the changes that you have done in your project will be saved. Now say suppose you don't want to save all the files. In your project say suppose you have 10 files in that only one particular file called as a.txt you want to save. Then you can write git space add space a.txt. So only the changes of that particular file will be saved into the staging area. No, if you want to, if you want to add all the changes then simply write git space add space dot. Okay, now from the staging area, you have you want to save all the changes that you have made. Then you have to go for the next one, which is called as git commit. Git commit will save the changes of your particular file into the repository. Which repository? Git repository. To do that, you have to use a command git commit. And you have to give a message. So this message will be telling what changes have you made. Okay, so that in each version you will understand. So when you open a particular version, you will understand in that version what changes you have made in your particular project. So message is you need to be adding. It's, it's optional, but if you add a message, then you will better understand of uh, you can better keep track of the changes that you have made in your particular product. So, okay, so this is called as git commit, right? The next one is git diff. So, so for example, if you want to know what is the previous 
commit changes that I have made and what is the new change that I have made. If you want to see the difference between your previous commit and the co current commit, okay, previous version and the current version, then you have to use a command which is called as git diff. It will compare the changes of your current file with the previous version. Okay, so for that you can simply write git diff. The next one you have is git help. Now say suppose you, you forgot how to use a particular command in git. Then simply write git space help space that command name. So it will give you, it will open the manual page of your git and it will give you the complete details of what is that command, how to use it, what is its syntax, it will give you some examples, what are the various options of that particular command. Every details will be given when you use the command called as git help. Okay, so these are the basic commands of git. Now I will take a small example and demonstrate how exactly these different types of commands are used. Now observe these two windows. The top window is your git bash, your local uh, git tool and the second one is a folder. Okay, so I have created a folder with the name called as sample example which I will be using as my git repository. Okay, so observe the changes as I keep on. Now, this is a normal folder. This folder should now be converted into a git repository. So before that, let's start with knowing what is the git version. So I will simply type git space hyphen hyphen version. And when I type enter, you can see this is the latest version of your git. Okay, now uh, if you want to clear the screen, simply write clear the window will be cleared. Now let me make this normal folder into a git repository. To do that, what we have to do? You have to type git space in it. So when I say git space in it, this particular folder, which is called as sample example, is converted into a git repository. How do I know it? Simply type ls. So when I type ls, it will show you what are the files inside this particular folder. So as you can see, you don't have any folder, but there is one hidden folder called as dot git which will tell me that this particular folder is now not a normal folder it is a git repository to know that simply type ls space hyphen la it will give me the list of hidden files so you can see there's one hidden file which is called as dot git here okay so which is not shown in this particular folder but it is hidden so when you whenever you get this dot git file that means this particular folder is now created, it is converted into a local git repository, right? So, now let me create a normal file here, a normal project file, say suppose. So, I will write nano space a.txt. You can use any ID that you want. I am using nano. So, a.txt file is created. Let me type something. Hello, this is new file, okay? I am doing the necessary changes. Now you can see here a.txt file is created. You can see this particular file. Right? Now, uh, to know whatever changes you have made in this particular project, you have to type now git status. So it is telling there is one file called as a.txt in which you did not save anything. So what we have to do now, we have to do the changes. So I have decided that let me do all the changes in this a.txt. Let me save all the changes in this a.txt. So what I have to do now, I will type git space add space dot. Okay, so it is telling everything is now being saved. So when I say now git status, previously observe this a.txt is in red color. Now when I type a git status, you can see that a.txt now is in green color. That means it is telling you that the changes are ready to be committed. Okay, you have decided to do all the changes in a.txt. Now it is ready. Now you save the final changes. To do that final changes, what I have to do, I have to type git space, commit space, hyphen m. I'm telling added new file. I'm telling that I have added a new file. I'm, I'm sending a message. Okay, now everything is successfully committed. Okay, so how do I know it is committed? Simply type git space status. So my status is telling that everything is committed and you are clean. Right? Now, say suppose uh, you want to do 
any any more changes now so again i will type a nano space a dot txt okay now say suppose i want to add a new line here add it new line i have added a new line i'm saving okay now i want to know what is the difference what are what are the different changes that i have done so what i will do i will say git space diff so my diff will tell you previously you had hello this is new file now you have added new line so it is telling me what are the changes that i have made so previous version is a dot a dot txt in a now next new version is a dot txt in b right so you have to decide whether you want to keep these changes or not let me say that i want to keep so i will say git space add space dot okay now everything is saved so i will say git space status you can see that the changes are saved but i have not yet committed now now say suppose you want to go back okay after typing git add dot and you have decided to save these changes now i want to go back i don't want to commit now so what i will do i will simply write git space reset okay when you type git space reset all the changes will be reverted back how do you know that simply type git status now you can see the red green file is again converted into red file okay now say suppose you want to undo the changes also so in this particular a.txt if you open this particular file you can see a new line is there okay now i want to undo that new line also so what i will do i will simply type git space i will type git space restore space dot when i do that and when i open a.txt you can see that the new line is also deleted so this is how you can come back right now let me show you how to use git help so you can type so i will type git help and say suppose you want to know about the function called as add so when i type enter then the git original manual page will open and it will give you the details of all these particular functions okay so this is these are the basic uh, git commands that we will be using in detail we will see in the next session thank you